Good morning, everybody. It is April 18th, 8.15 a.m. Market's going to open in 15 minutes. <clears throat> we got the NASDAQ up here. Um, I only trade the NASDAQ on this channel, uh, Day Trading Futures, or Futures Day Trading, I think is the name of the channel. Um, and typically, each morning I come in and we do a little pre-market analysis, and then I record any trades that I make for the day. And we have done some live streaming in the past and we'll probably pick that up again um, in the near future. But uh, today I'm just gonna be recording the trades. Um, I've got a whole bunch of charts going on up here. Um, try, it looks a little busy, but it's really not. Each one I look at and I'm taking some of these lines off that I drew last week. <clears throat> and um, we start with usually higher time frames, which are over here. And we move down to kind of medium time frames, like the one hour time frame over here. And then I move down to a five minute, one minute and 500 volume for entries during the day. Um, it looks like a lot, but it's really not. I really just have all these charts up here on the screen just for these videos. Um, we've also got our bear buddy over here. Uh, he's our little bear avatar. He does this weird thing with his lip, his jaw. I don't know. I don't know. I got to adjust my webcam, I think, and... The camera thinks I'm in a weird position. Anyways, let's look at what we got going on in the NASDAQ. We usually, let's start with the weekly. Today's Monday morning. Let's look at last week, how it ended. <clears throat> um, pretty bearish. Uh, these two candles over here from the previous uh, weeks just looked like it was going to come down. We pinned through the 20 SMA on the weekly. Uh, these yellow lines here, this is a 20 period Bollinger Band, which means that um, the middle, the middle uh, line is a 20 period SMA, and these are two standard deviations away from that. Um, you know, a couple bearish candles last week, again bearish. Uh, we closed near the low of the week, um, and yeah, it's just it, it's looking just bearish right here. Uh, that said, we were in this downtrend going on for, you know, three months or so since December. It looks like mid-December, uh, January, mid-December, mid January uh, over here. Downtrend, we broke out of that to the upside. We did not close above the 20 SMA, though, pinned through it. Coming back down again, is it going to find some support down here? I don't know. I've, I've said this a million times, and if you're watching my other videos, you know, inflation, economic concerns, recession... All that stuff that's all in the news right now um and um, it's real inflation is real if you've gone to the grocery store lately you know inflation is real um and so there are some fundamental economic concerns going on with the markets um, and markets are reacting to those so that's the weekly let's look at a daily i saw something interesting over here we can look at the daily we've got some trend lines going on if you look at that weekly that we drew um on the previous one that downtrend trend line that's over here uh, on the daily. Here's that breakout that we saw um, of that. Now we're getting this pullback again. So we've got another counter trend line. One thing, so we've got the move up. Now we've got this pullback. We've come down, we've hit the back of the band here on the daily. These are also 20 period um, Bollinger Bands. Um, one interesting thing is we've hit the back of the band, plus we have the back of this trend line that we've got at this descending trend line. It's a big area of confluence. It's interesting that during the overnight session um, last night, uh, the Asian and European markets session, we've come down, we've hit that, and we're pinning right off of it, um, getting a little bit of a bounce there off of it. And where are we coming to? Let's look at, um, let me just look at a four hour real quick. Uh, I actually want to now come over to the hourly. So we looked at the weekly, daily. Let's look at the hourly. What's going on with that? We're coming right up now to um, the low the low of last week, which is over here. Um, I also use volume profiles, and on the hourly chart, I have up a weekly volume profile. So you see the volume profile right here. This is from last week. And then we've got one gen now generating over here, which is for this week, but it's only been calculating since last night. Again, today's Monday morning. Uh, the market opened uh, 5 p.m., uh, central time um, um, on Sunday night. What's interesting here is the low of last week is now is acting as resistance. Um, you can see price coming coming right up to that here. We've pinned off of it here on the hourly. It's looking a little bullish. Um, last night I looked at the market when it opened, and man, it opened and just tanked, just tanked real quick. You can see it over here opened here and then we just shot down god how many points did we shoot down 
um, you know, up at 13,900 ish, uh, you know, 270 points. <clears throat> it just shot down. Um, no, 100, sorry, 170 points, sorry. 170 points, it just shot down the first couple hours. Now we're making a little bit of recovery out of that. But you can see that real aggressive selling coming in, weaker buying, weaker buying. Um, and we've, we're coming right up now to last week's low, which is what was support, is now acting as resistance. Um, one trade I can see is if, if we possibly break that support here, or sorry, that break that resistance, which is this red line I've drawn out, I think price may want to come up to uh, the top of the band here on the one hour. That's typically what it wants to do, but it's got to get through this level at like 13,880, 13,900. You know, I think that there's probably a buy trade up here going on. Um, oh, also, I'm going to talk about my um, account down there in a minute. You can see it over here somewhere. I think it's over here, my account stuff so I'll, I'll talk about what account i'm trading today i've got several accounts so I'll talk about which one i'm trading today um in a second so um i think there's a possible trade there as we break this resistance level price may want to come up here now we are you know we are looking bearish on the day i mean this is a 500 volume chart um we are looking bearish today. We are barely above VWAP. I mean, we're right basically at VWAP. We're bouncing off of VWAP, but we're negative on the day already, and we're negative delta. And we can see here, delta, cumulative delta is essentially time and sales data. It's um, buyers, um, buyers buying on the ask and sellers selling on the buyer's prices on the bid. Um, and it gives us an idea of aggressive buying and selling or market sentiment. sentiment. Um, so when we have a high delta number, something like positive 2,500 or 3,000, that's, sh that's showing me ag aggressive buying. And again, this is actual time and sales data. And when we have a negative number, this is showing me um, aggressive selling um, or more of a bearish sentiment going on in the market. One thing I look for sometimes on delta is delta divergence. So we can see here, um, delta divergence would me mean um, as price is making new highs, you would like to see delta following that new highs, that same structure. Here we don't quite see that. It's not making quite a new high, and it's actually starting to make higher lows as price is coming up to this area of resistance. Um, again, this red line, which we drew out on the hourly, is coming up on all the charts. And this is last week's uh, low, which was support. Support oftentimes acts as resistance. <clears throat> and so... We've got this area up here, which is acting as resistance, and we see Delta reacting to that as um, sellers begin to come in at this area and get out at aggressive prices, meaning they're getting out at buyer prices. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what it wants to do up here. It is pre-market, still have seven minutes to the market open, so I can't read too much into that right now. Because uh, the market is, you know, the market's going to do what it wants to do, particularly on a Monday morning. Um, it's best to to let the market move around for a little bit. Another reason I'm not live streaming today, sometimes I kind of feel the pressure to take a trade earlier on in the session than maybe I would normally take because, you know, you've got, you know, 80, 100 people, like 80 people, 50, 80 people watching it. I was almost going to say 100. I was being generous to myself there. Um, <clears throat> and you kind of feel a little pressure to perform. So Monday morning, I think it's probably best just to kind of let it move around. Let's see what happens. That being said, I think that if we did get a, an aggressive move here to the upside and we broke we broke this red line, yet last week's lows, um, and I saw Delta come along with that, meaning Delta started to make new highs. We had Delta really move up as we broke this price. I think the price target would be the upper end of this band. You could also say, well, this looks like a bearish, you know, we're kind of in this bearish downtrend um, going on over here on the daily. You can see it, you know, I think we're going to come down and retest those lows or come down and break lows and move lower again. And this would probably be a good area to short it up here um, at the top of this band. Um, I've got this trend line there that I'm going to take off. Um, but we can also see all that selling that came in on Friday. I mean, that was just, this was Friday. Th that was just gnarly. Um, and... A lot of bearish sentiments. Um, one thing that I think may drive the market up a little bit this week is earnings. We've got a lot of earnings coming out this week, and I think those are going to be good good earnings, and that you may see the market react to, to some of those releases on earnings. Um, but the overall fundamental 
um, nature of the market right now, I think is still bearish. We can see here as prices up near kind of these highs, we see Delta now making lows. This looks like a short as we broke the support that price would want to fall back down to VWAP. I'm not going to take it. We can also see here the 20 SMA. On the five minute, I think that this would probably break and would probably fall back down into here, but I'm not going to take it because um, uh, it's, it's markets can open in five minutes and it's tricky to trade pre-market. Um, my account. So this, you can see down there, we've got a $25,000 account. I posted a video yesterday. Apex had this mass, Apex Trading had this massive sale on some of their prop evaluations. And I got one of these little 25K K accounts just, just for fun. <clears throat> Let's see if we can pass it in a day or two. Um, I don't know. It was like 30 bucks or something. I was like, well, yeah, what the heck? Let's do it. Make, it'll make a good video for YouTube if we can, if we can, um, do well on it. Uh, profit target's only $1,500 and the trailing draw, drawdown is $1,500. I've never done a $25,000 one. So that's kind of why I wanted to go after it because it's got the best ratio between um, trailing drawdown and profit target, which is the exact same, $1,500. So I'm wondering if um, this actually might be the best one to do um, out of all of them, the, the smallest, cheapest one. Um, because of that ratio being so tight. And I said in my video yesterday when I made um, that, you know, $1,500 isn't a lot, but if you're just trading one contract, um, usually I trade two contracts and I trade, um, I've done mostly the 50K evaluation on this this channel. Um, if you're just doing one contract, well, that's actually giving you, you know, $500 more of a drawdown than doing the 50K because I trade two contracts on the 50K and that um, only gives you, that gives you 2,500 drawdown. So if I trade one contract down here, that actually gave me more drawdown with the same profit target, if that makes any sense. So that uh, sale was 80% off, which was pretty incredible. I mean, you could get you know a 250K evaluation for 100 bucks, although I wouldn't recommend doing the 250K. Um, I, that's over now. However, if you use the coupon code, uh, which is down in the description, you still get 50% off any of the evaluations that they have up. And it's still a good deal. I mean, for $80, you could do a 50K evaluation or $70 do a 25K one, I think. That's still a pretty good price. Um, somebody commented that Apex is, Apex's withdrawal stuff is not the best. And I agree with that. You've got to essentially, you, essentially they cap you at $1,500, I think, or $2,000 a month withdrawal limit for the first three months, and they can only pull out a significant amount after three months. And so, you know, it is what it is. I mean, if you want something better, you're going to, you know, if you want a better withdrawal um, policy, then, you know, go with somebody else. You're going to have to pay more, but, you know, you can find something else out there. There's a whole bunch of these with these um, funding programs. Anyway, guys, the market's going to open in two minutes. Um, uh, best of luck to everybody out there today trading. I will record any trades that I possibly take today. I'm, again, I'm going to let this thing move around a little bit. I always say that, and I'm always like in a trade within like five minutes. So let's see what happens with it. And uh, yeah, I'll record anything that we take. All right, let's see what happens. All right, guys. So we can see here as price is now up at this resistance level that we marked out. I've got Delta dropping lower. We want to see what it wants to do do up here you can see down here cumulative delta this price is moving higher 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 look at delta it's not really budging in fact we got some we got some selling coming in right there um i want to see if we come back down here and break the support at 66 if we want to <clears throat> possibly fall back down to 50 that would be a pretty quick scalp um i think it is reaching exhaustion up here and we're just looking to you know take a scalp down to 50 there See what it wants to do up here. Again, told you I was going to wait. This market's been open for a minute, and I'm already trying to get in something here. <clears throat> I do hope it goes up. I do hope it goes up. I've got equities that are suffering, longer-term investing suffering that I, I hope, I hope uh, recover from this pullback here. Again, look at Delta. Not budging as we're breaking higher. Delta should stay in where it is. We're just looking to get um, hot back down. Delta's not budging still. I'm gonna keep moving up our short there. 85.
Get Delta moving lower. Our exit's going to be at the bottom of the band here on the five, 500 volume. Delta's now breaking lower. I need, I need price action, though, to confirm that move. You know. Moving that up. Delta's now moving lower. Mm. Breaking higher, breaking higher. Watching that one minute over there, how it wants to close. Let's look at a 500 tick chart. What we got, we have, you know, down to 80 there, I think. <clears throat> like a Delta again, not budging. Watch this one minute over here. See how this one minute closes. It may it, it may get sucked up to that thirteen nine seventy level though. Probably gonna take this trade off. It seems like it keeps wanting to move up, and I and I think that it's gonna want to get sucked up to thirteen nine seventy. I'm going to keep watching though. I've got my finger, um, I got my hockey set up. I can take a real quick, quick entry here. Now we're starting to see Delta come up with it. Now we're starting to see Delta come up with it. I feel like it's got that, you know, 70 in its sights, the top of the band here on the one hour. You don't want to get in too high on it. I mean, all this looks just very bullish. <clears throat> Let's go on on one contract on it, and we'll try to do... We'll probably try to add to it as we get a move. Look at Delta moving lower. I think this thing's going to come down, actually. It looks like a trap. Delta is just tanking. Hmm, I don't really like any of this, to be honest. Delta's now moving lower. I think it still has that room up to 70. We can see here cumin of Delta is just moving down. Real aggressive. I'm going to put my short back in there. I'm watching it. Let's look at this one minute. It looks very bullish. Breaks, I think it's going to want to come down to 80, 80, uh, 70, uh, Delta, look how price is trying to move up, but cumulative Delta is moving down. I'm secretly really hoping that this rallies. <laughs> This is Delta Divergence. Price is now coming up to highs up here. Maybe it makes new highs and Delta is actually making, moving lower. But I need price action to confirm the move. Delta, look at Delta dropping as price is moving up. It may come up to 70 and just roll over. I don't want to be buying it because Delta's not. Delta's not moving lower. Let's 
still watching, still watching. Maybe short at 14 here. Man, or you buy it up at 38 and you watch it rip. Delta moving lower. We can chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it. Well, I can feel myself reaching for a trade here. I think that this is going to come down to any. Get Delta moving lower. This thing's gonna come down. Hmm. <clears throat> you don't want to short the bottom of it, though. I think it's got room to 50, wants to do that. Let's see what it does over here on the 20th of May on the one minute. I've got a, a stop order, a sell stop order down there. I feel like if it falls back into this range, it's going to open up VWAP for it. Delta's still moving lower. Too much hesitation for me. Two forty. Ugh. Two forty. It's not a good trade. I saw that hesitation. I just wanted out of it. I can see the twenty SMA there on the um, five minute. Uh, it might be a short coming in up here. Now I'm, now I'm looking at the 500 volume. Now I'm looking at taking a short, so I'm I'm watching uh, price action on that. That probably would stop me out right there if I was still in this trade. Definitely would have stopped me out. All right, let's let it move around a little bit because it's looking a little choppy down here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess this was okay to get out where I did, but... Now it's looking bullish. It's bullish candle in the one minute. We've moved back up a little bit into the value area of the um, volume profile, session volume profile. We can look at an overnight volume profile. I, mean, I don't know. I may want to fall down to VWAP. I think it's best to let it move around. I'm going to take a break, get some coffee, and come back and, and see what it's done.
All right, guys, I got a buy order up there at 77. We saw a pretty aggressive move right there down. Um, down to VWAP again. I did not see Delta coming along really along with it. It's actually Delta's looking like it's making some bullish structure here. I wonder if we can get a move up to 90 pretty quick on it. <clears throat> um, it looks like it's going to come up and hit it. Aggressive. Get out there. 560 on the day. Maybe I should have, I could have held that up to 90, but I didn't. I didn't. Um, we're going to get another move up, maybe. We're breaking out of this little trend line. Man, I should have held that thing up to 90. But, you know, it's the way it goes. Um, bup, bup, bup. We're moving up. It's looking bullish, looking bullish. Wonder what happened here. Sorry, I keep touching the mic. I know it's probably making a loud sound. Shorts are getting squeezed out. Yeah, I should have held that one. Uh, dang it. All right, let's see if we find another setup. Okay, guys, so this looks like it's going to keep moving up. Looking very bullish at the moment. Um, Delta is now finally making bullish structure. Um, even though price has moved higher up here, um, Delta still isn't quite where it needs to be, but I do like the bullish structure on it, and we're breaking new highs on the day. Um, and, you know, this all looks now like now it's in kind of an up channel here. So, you know, where can we find it? You know, the question is, where can you get a good entry on it? And then where does it want to go? Um, I don't want to get in up here at the top, even if it breaks higher here and rips up to 14,000. Um, it's just going to have to move without me because I think it's got some room up here now to 75. You want to try to find a good entry on it. You know, a good entry for me would be down here. We can see that we've got this at low volume node. We've also got the bottom of the band here on the 500 volume, and we've got value area high, which can act as um, support. Um, that looks to me, you know, again, at 34, maybe 32-ish level. Um, I like to see some um, reaction to that level, maybe like a pin, um, um, a pin on the bar, one of the bars. We can see that here. It's coming right down to it. You know, could you get in at 44? We can see that reaction right there. Uh, maybe we're going to take a buy on this. Let's see how this closes. Volume's kind of running out. Right now it's 918. Looking at the 500 tick again. <clears throat> um, just kind of, I think this, this might move without me here. It'll be okay. It's up a little high for me. Where else could we find some support? <laughs> Now, I don't want to get in too high and have this thing now come down, you know, maybe to this. Let's look at the one minute. Let's see if we can draw some trend lines <clears throat> down to 20. I think this LVM looks like it might be holding. Looks like it might want to drop a little bit, come down. It's just a little too tight up here for me, to be honest. I take try to take a scalp up at this. I think there might be a pop here at 47 up to you know 54.
I want to close out on this. I'm hoping I can get just a little pop up there to 50. I'm just going to get out at that 615. I, I didn't like that at all. I got lucky on that one. So, um, eh, ooh, I didn't like that trade. Um, I got lucky. I moved my stop way down too low. And um, I actually thought about getting out down here at 38, but I got in with a little bit too much size. So um, that's probably going to be it for me today, I think. I think that's a good sign that I'm not making very good decisions at this point. And um, I can even see a short coming in at 24. We break the support at 24, 23, and we move down to 05. But um, I don't know. I'm probably going to call it a day on that, 635 on the day. Um not too bad. Now we're breaking higher. Oh, should have held on to it. Oh, should have held on to it. <clears throat> Where do we think it's going to go? I think it might come to 67, top of the band here on the um, one minute. But anyways, guys, I'm going to call it a day on that. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, I'll be back trading again tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. I am rooting for this thing to go up. I'm, I hope that it rallies on earnings this week. Um, for everyone's 401ks and investments and all that stuff. I hope all the an analysts are wrong about their um, impeding recession. So uh, best of luck. I hope you guys are all having a great day trading, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.